Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Today we are sharing with you all of our favorite Trader Joe's products. Um, so sit back because there's a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, please, by all means, comment in the yes. com in the comment below with any products that you like in particular that maybe we're not showcasing here because we yes. love to find new products. Because that's how we started. We started talking about Trader Joe's and sharing our faves because. You know, Trader Joe's has its own product, which I did not know that mm -hmm. when I went into the store. I was like, oh, it's their products. So we started sharing what we liked, and then we thought, let's do this. Let's share it with you. So here we go. I know. We get great comments from people. Um, I actually have one thing that I want to share that's in my cabinet, so remind me when we get to, like, appetizers. So we got to get it out. But. We've got frozen food out here. We've got everything. So. so if you're joining us, thank you very much. It's a beautiful Friday. And I'm Dana. And I'm Heather. And we're Soulful Moms, Moms on the Go. And we are here once again in the kitchen, as we were saying before, sharing with you our favorite Trader Joe's products. Um, everything from breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, appetizers, um, beverages, and cleaning supplies. So oh, yes, we hope this is super helpful for you. Maybe you can start your Trader Joe's list while you're talking to us. That would be great. I know, right? So before we totally get into the Trader Joe's products, um, you know, you guys are at least one week into school, if not two weeks into the new school year. Um, it's been interesting. I mean, I have now I have both boys are in middle school, so we have a lot to, um, it's really good because they leave at the same time and they come back at the same time, so I kind of like that flat thing. But you know, it's a lot of organization and I'm exhausted. Yes, no, I will say that too. Um, I Let us know if you're there, I'm just looking at comments, there you are, okay. Um, yes, I will say that the honeymoon wore off yesterday. <laughs> There was even a honeymoon. I don't know. There was. There was a nice little adrenaline rush of like going back and seeing who's in your class and seeing friends and kind of learning the process of fifth grade and second grade. They're up in the you know they're up in the game in elementary. Yeah. And then yesterday it just went all hell in a handbasket. So right. it's okay. That's why there's rosé from Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's. <laughs> Thank you, traders. <laughs> Cheers. So here's Cheers. to making it through. A week, week or two, two of school. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So, um, fantasy football's in full effect. Yes, my husband is out of town this week. Is he doing and a draft? He's doing a draft. He's been doing this cool draft with his buddies from college for a couple years now. I know. So, they get together, and I think whoever wins has to plan the next year. So It's a trip, though. They do it a full trip. Yeah. yeah, no, so, my husband goes on Skype. And he was up in New York when they had the football um, oh, yeah, the draft, right. so he literally was He's typing. Like traveled. And, yeah, so he traveled and um, did his draft. But that's kind of cool that I they know. do like a weekend thing. I know. We right. need to do something. Okay. What do we do? Let's just go. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure. We need something that's like a football. Um, what you call draft weekend? But it's not football, and it's for moms. women. Moms. We'd have to make it really simple and easy and fast. Yeah. I'm not a gambler, though. That's the problem. And I think Oh, no. I, just, I might as well just but hand it's fun. money. Yeah. yeah. I we'll do figure like, something I do yeah. like the Super Bowl when you pick the squares. And yeah, the that's fun. We'll do that. But okay. that, that's not, that includes everyone. We want it just for us. I know. Um, <laughs> so I have three birthdays this week. Uh, Gabriel's, my youngest, was on Monday. Mm -hmm. My dad's is today. Happy 75th. <laughs> And my husband's is tomorrow. So we've started with celebrations. Oh there was like gosh. a day of a lull, and then we have family in town. Wow. My sister and my nephews, and my aunt and uncle, and my aunt are here. So we're all celebrating. Um, definitely not on a diet this week in any way, shape, or form, but we'll get back to it. We're, next still, week. we're coming off the summer bulge, I think. But it's okay. <laughs> As we talk about all this yummy food. I know. Like, oh, <laughs> sorry, you'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, great. That's what loose tops are for. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we're going to try to put this, we put in some semblance, like some form of an order to give yeah. you an idea based on meals and stuff. But if you have any comments or anything, or any products that you typically buy from Trader Joe's that go along with any of these, please comment below. I know that when I go into Trader Joe's, I have my list, but I always look because there's always something different. Always. So that I have to try. Yeah, or they do the end aisle like mm -hmm. whatever's happening, the trend. And you're pumpkin. like, oh. Like pumpkin, pumpkin's yeah. coming soon. 
I know Starbucks is starting their pumpkin latte I'm again. Just, it's just a little too early for me. I'm not quite ready. Yeah, it's August. It's always oh, hard yeah. to buy a pumpkin in August. I know. When it's like five well, because it's like yeah, it's like not. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It okay, is. so we're gonna start with breakfast items. So um, breakfast usually, especially on school mornings, you want something fast, preferably healthy, um, really healthy. Actually, we want it healthy. But sometimes the kids are in a rush; they are running out the door, and you want to get them something. So. Um, my boys happen, well, my younger one wanted, always wanted Pop-Tarts, and I'm like, Pop-Tarts have artificial colors and flavors and preservatives and all that stuff that you kind of don't want them to have. So I was so excited when I came across the organic fr frosted toaster pastries. They have this one, the brown sugar and cinnamon, which is, which is his favorite, but they also have like a strawberry, I think, and a raspberry. Oh, they do, yeah. yeah, they came out with some of the fruit ones. So these are great. I just pop them in my toaster, and then he's good to go, and he has his Pop-Tart, but it's not really a Pop-Tart because it's healthier, okay. um, right? Mm -hmm. So great, and six come in a box. So if your kid eats... There you go, breakfast yeah. for the week. Exactly, Done. it's super easy. Um, another thing that is a side item to our breakfast, mm, which yes. is so yummy. This is more of a weekend treat, but are their hash browns. They are so They're good. They're so amazing. They're in the freezer section. Um, and they're already, so you don't have to cook a whole bag of hash browns, which take forever. Right. My kids, they have them every, I cook eggs and bacon. Oh my God. I get the Trader's bacon. I cook that on a Monday. So you've got it for the week, just nuke it. Oh. And these I put in right when I get up. They do take a little bit longer to cook and brown. Mm. What does it say on there? Um, in the oven, 20 to 25 yeah. minutes. So the minute I get up and I'm making my coffee and everybody starts to get up, I put these in right away. They come out, I scramble an egg. Super smart. Done. Done. Protein. Um, this actually kind of goes over by the snack, sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm in the wrong aisle. That's okay. So now let's move on to, I don't know, we kind of, well, however you want to go. I guess we can do dinner, well, breakfast. We could do lunch. Well, I will say for lunch, Where's that one little box? Um, oh, these. I don't know how many calories these have, but these chili, how do you say that? Relleno? Relleno? Reno? <laughs> they're like a stuffed, they're a stuffed poblano pepper with cheese. And sometimes when I'm like Ooh. having a tough, like I'm like, I need to eat lunch, I nuke this and it's so yummy. I'm like obsessed with Mexican food all the time. So who couldn't, you know. So I'll nuke one of those. They're amazing for lunch. And then what else? I don't know what else we have for lunch. That's oh, good. Well, that's a good you answer. know what else I've done when we do a show? Sometimes I've made lunch. These are amazing. They're grape leaves in a Dolmas. can. Dolmas. Dolmas. These are awesome. And they taste just like you got them in the little, you know, section of like olives and all that fresh. Mm -hmm. No, you, they're really so good. So you keep them in your pantry. And then when you want to do like a Greek night, that's what I do. So I'll, I'll freeze so good. the non bread from Traders and then oh. serve it with hummus and this and do like a little Mediterranean dinner or lunch for yourself. So these are great when I'm like, I know I need to eat something today. I've got a long day and you know, a salad might just not hold me. So I do that for lunch. What do you got? Me? Mm -hmm. um, this we do for lunch and we also do as appetizers, oh, the yeah. Trader Joe mushroom and black truffle flatbread. This is not gluten free, but it is delicious. It is delicious. Um, we either have it for lunch or we cut it up into little squares if we're having people over for dinner and it's a great little appetizer. If you like truffle and mushrooms, it's the bomb. It's the way to go. We, can, we have like, we usually keep two or three in our freezer at a time because they go fast. Throw that together. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? And oh, this is more of an appetizer. Oh, but for the kids for lunch, did you see these? No. Oh, yes, I have. The I turkey have. corn dogs. I've never bought those. We need to try those. I haven't See? tried them yet, okay. but I'm recommending them because there's no nitrites or nitrates added to them. And my little one is very picky when it comes to lunch. And I totally forgot I had them in the freezer. I'm kind of glad we're doing this episode because I'm so... Oh, you're starting to go lunch. through the freezer. In. Yeah. Cool. So corn dogs, but turkey, a little bit healthier. So don't forget about that. All right, cool. Um, let's see. What else do we have? I guess, should we go to dinner? Sure. Okay. So I found this, and I'm not one of these type of people. I would not buy but this frozen. It is like a flash. It's ice glaze. It's a whole breaded chicken cutlet. And I will tell you, these chicken breasts are huge. So literally, you could cook if there's four of you, and I have little, you know, little kids, seven and ten. I can cook two, and I slice it up. Yeah, and then really serve thick. it that way instead of just saying, "Here's a whole chicken breast." This is amazing. And then my girlfriend turned me on to these, and this is like. 
totally sacrilegious like you should never do this in my house because we make homemade mashed potatoes all yeah, the time yeah so does my husband oh my so god like... this is so wrong my mom would kill me but <laughs> these are amazing it's so They're wrong like, but it's so right it's so wrong and so right <laughs> and let me tell you the trader joe's mashed potatoes so don't be shocked when they come out they're like in little ice cubes because and you just have to make sure you stir and my girlfriend i don't even know what it says for the directions but she had given says add water i add a little milk and butter just to oh, make, to it, make it even better. <laughs> and these are so my daughter loves uh, shepherd's pie. Mm. So instead of there's never mashed right. potatoes left over right. when we make them. So yeah, make this real quick and make that as your layer. That's awesome. That's a really good hack. Thanks. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Right. They also have cauliflower mash and cauliflower rice in the frozen section. I need to too, try that. I have not tried that. Yet. They have the frozen jasmine rice bags also that are organic okay. if you want. So those are great sides to go with your dinners. Um, another great dinner addition that I actually, I love, and these, these mushroom raviolis, they come with the most delicious sauce. Oh, you're kidding. It's a mushroom truffle sauce. I think we're on like a tray truffle with thing. mushrooms and truffles. Truffle tray. Um, they're delicious. You just pop them in boiling water, cook them, you heat up the truffle sauce, maybe grill a chicken breast to put on top, Ooh. and you have yourself a really good meal. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at our comments to see if we have any. Oh, we do. We have six comments. We have our camera. Woo! We have our camera flipped. So, so I'm looking at my phone. That's why Yay. I'm looking down. Here, but I see we have six comments. Awesome. Hi, Michelle. Maria. Hey, um, everyone. Thanks so much for joining. Cheers. Oh, Lori. I don't, I don't see, see any cat, cat cookies. cookies. What's what a cat, cat cookies? cookies? <laughs> all right. So now I guess we need cat cookies. cookies. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> all the time even when we're not sorry on the okay um another great yeah. thing is i try to be as gluten-free as possible because i am gluten sensitive yeah. and also i do feel that taking gluten somewhat out of your diet does help with it does um kids attitudes so i actually really like these grill the chicken breast nuggets they're delicious now they are not cooked so you do have to yeah. cook them for 20 minutes but they're great they're gluten-free they're in the freezer section also i highly recommend these cool. Um, also, what oh, about yeah. you are? Oh, your Mexican. These are amazing. These beef tamales. So they come in chicken, and then they come in chili cheese. And when you are like having, so you've got a million activities in one day, homework, and you don't have time to cook. You just put them in like the little steamer. Like I'm sure you all have a pot with the little steamer. You put those in, serve it with a little side salad, make some guacamole, whatever. My kids love these, and my husband. Mm. They don't love the chicken as much. I eat the chicken. They like the beef. But this is my go-to dinner. I always have these in there just in case, like, things go awry and you... <laughs> you need, like, a last <laughs> And you're like, wait, I thought I was going to cook this nice big dinner. And then, you know, it all fell apart. So these are amazing. I love those. What else do we have? Oh, I had those. And I them. They're good, right? Yeah, they What's are What's so funny is that, like, we collaborate. We're like, okay, I'm going to bring this and this. And there, there are so many things that we both like together. Yeah. So uh, vegetable spring rolls. Yes, these are yummy. great. Um, they have kale, edamame, mushrooms, and shredded tofu. They're really easy to make. They're great for appetizers or for snacks. Mm -hmm. As are these I've never vegetable bird's nest. They're so Will good. Your kids eat them? My niece told me about it. Ryan told me about it. So they're Will really the kids good. Eat them? No, my kids don't eat anything. Oh, okay. I mean, they'll eat the chicken nuggets. <laughs> they'll eat the turkey corn dogs. Okay. No, we're gonna I'm work on sneak that though. In. They look yeah, good. I was looking. They're at crunchy. Them. Okay. So they're really good. Oh, April's there. Hi, April. Hey, April. Thanks for joining us. Um, so I think we hit most of the main dishes. So yeah. now let's go on to like the snacks, snacks and all that fun sweets, stuff. Sweets, treats. Mm -hmm. um, oh wait, I will go back to this, sorry. No, go ahead. We go through ketchup like insane in our house with nuggets and stuff. So their ketchup is really good. And what I love about Trader Joe's is I can walk out with like five bags of groceries mm -hmm. and I buy their meat, a lot of their fresh meat mm -hmm. and it's delicious. And it's like $150. Instead of some local places, it's like $250 lately. I don't know. Food mm. is expensive. So this is really affordable and great ketchup, you know, to get. I will say this is crazy, the organic vegetarian chili. We would never eat chili out of a can. Like, it's just wrong. But I will say <laughs> that I, my daughter loves chili, and I she's a savory breakfast person. To go back to breakfast, and we've thrown it in eggs and made like That's ranchero a, and put it in a wrap and put it in like a little taco wrap. Bell peppers, rice flour, yeah. chili pepper. There's jalapeno in here. She eats it with the yeah. jalapeno. Stop it. Or you know what's great too is my kids That's love so cool. like nachos for a snack. So here you go, it's turkey chili. You just put that with some cheese, melt it, give them some you know chips and they've got like a nice little after school snack. So 
as we said. I'm like go in the pantry and pick a snack. No. Okay. So I'll start I know, with I this. I think I'm too nice to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming over to you. Oh God! What's wrong with me? Seriously. No, but so. I am my most Ooh, favorite snack is yeah. popcorn. I go to movies just to eat popcorn. <laughs> if the movie's bad, the only shining light is that there's popcorn, popcorn. involved. Popcorn. So Trader Joe's has an organic air pop popcorn, and it's only 130 calories per serving. And the serving is, I believe, it's a, uh, it's four cups of what? Oh my gosh! One serving is four cups of popcorn, and it's only 130 calories. That seems like a lot. That's no. a great snack, though. That's a great snack. Okay. My kind of snack. So these are great, and it's healthy, and it's simple. Popcorn. Popcorn. Yes. These are a snack for us. Mm -hmm. Edamame, frozen in the shells, fun to eat for the kids. And I cook it, I'll have it for the week in the fridge, and be mm -hmm. like, go get some edamame. How do you well, make it? I just steam it. Oh, okay. Or you can nuke it in the microwave. You just have to watch it and be careful. It doesn't pop. Yeah, well, you just, I don't know, you don't want it to get overcooked and then it's mush. Ooh. So, yummy, yeah, kids love that. Yes. What else? Um, okay, I'm an olive freak. I love olives. I love this. I and this is this. actually over in the drinks section because I think you're supposed to use it <laughs> as like, you know, like a little uh, side for drinks. A beverage drink. decor. So this is, yes, a pitted salted manzanilla. These are my favorite olives too, the manzanilla. They're like that, the bright green, green and they're yeah. gorgeous. So this is like a great to-go pack. Throw this in your purse. And if you need a snack, I love that. I mean, it might look weird that you're like, hold on, I'm, instead of like chips, you're like, let me eat my olives. But they're delicious. And yeah, why not so for you? Like. You're doing like the Mediterranean diet yeah. thing or something. Just the olives, delicious. Okay. Next snacks. What else do we have here? Okay, so I, she loves my hack here. So in the freezer section, when you walk along, there are all these little chocolate uh, coconut almonds, ch dark chocolate covered cherries. They've got the mini cups. Those are and I throw these in guilty, too. yummy dark chocolate mint creams. And so what I do is I'll buy like their cashews and their nuts. And if I have some extra cereal laying around, and I just call it, I don't want to say Chex Mix, but we call it our snack mix. And so I will throw these in, and it's kind of like a nice little. I would say like a little bit of a caffeine fix after school, Yeah, you know, with a little bit of chocolate and everybody's kind of happy and they get something sweet. And so we kind of make a little mix and here you go. And then I've got, uh, sometimes we throw in these little gummy tummy penguins. So all this stuff has really natural, like, they don't have the, the added flavors. Yeah, I mean, there's sugar in this, but it's got um, strawberry, lime, green. I'm trying to think if there's anything like crazy in here. It's all concentrate. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go. Online yeah. with gummies. Um, these. these are called Scandinavian swimmers, and um, we broke the package. So, but these are—they don't last long in our house. They taste just like Swedish fish, but they have no artificial flavors, no preservatives, and they're delicious. And so we've replaced our beloved gummy bears with these, and they're total. The kids love them. Yeah. These don't last that long in the house. Um, another thing for adults that we use, um, whether it's for just pop some of these in our mouth or if you're doing a, a charcuterie tray with the cheese and the meats, these truffle Marcona oh, almonds. Like truffle again. Are, I know, there's a theme. I like truffle. But these almonds are, no joke, amazing. My sister introduced them to me and they also have a rosemary version, which is really good too, but I kind of like this one so much better um but you just put a little bit on the tray with the cheese and meats or when you're passing by the pantry you take some out of the bag and eat it nice. they're awesome they're so delicious and they're probably like crazy fattening but okay. like one or two just to get that like taste yeah um another snack and this is sometimes a fast not mm -hmm. necessarily fully approved breakfast but if the kids are running out the okay. door or i throw it in my bag it's called this apple walks into a bar cereal bars they're actually kind of like they remind me of fig newtons yeah no they're good yeah and they're really good just don't put them anywhere they're easily squishable oh my gosh i've opened one before for my purse and mm -hmm. they were like crum completely crumbled yeah so they're a little dainty yes but they're deliciously dainty but when you're having that morning you know when your kid took an hour to get dressed and they're really having a rough morning and you, we've done it, you eat breakfast in the car. Yeah, these are good to have. They're good, Standby. something to get in their belly. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is, so Heather has her trail mix, which I have made and I love it, but if you are not of the 
putting together, which I think is kind of better in a way because you put together what you like particular, like in right. particular. Because sometimes I do buy, like, I know what you're going to say. You could grab a bag. They're, it's very inexpensive yes. and they're delicious and they have organic and they have conventional trail mixes. They even have the bags. Oh of, yeah, the mini bags too, mm -hmm. which you can throw those in your purse. Just don't, some of them have little chocolate chips and my purse has been in the car and it's mushy. It's melted. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. But they have all different types of trail mixes. This is what the first thing I ever bought at Trader Joe's actually when I was visiting my sister. And it was delicious. It was so good. And I'm like, I wish they would have a Trader Joe's by me. So I was that weird person that would go onto their website and say, we would love to have a Trader Joe's down here. We feel that you have the best target they market. Your you. demographics. They listen to me. <gasps> Dang, thanks. You're welcome. I tried. <laughs> I took one for the team. Thank I wrote a few times on their website. Stalker. I'm sure they, no stalker. they opened because it's me. Okay. But um, and then two other little things that we both love. Oh my gosh, these are the best. To hold the cones. So these are little ice creams. They're perfect. They're that perfect size mm -hmm. of dessert when you need a little sweet around like 10 o'clock at night when you're like, yes, I need a little something. Sweet. How stinking cute are these? It's a little waffle cone and it has ice cream in it and it has a chocolate topping. Come here. No? My nephew's behind the scenes with my, today. with my sister and he's like, I want one of those. So, kid approved. Kid approved. Oh, these are delicious. Oh, They're yeah. awesome. You, I think you gave me one of these. Okay. Cold brew latte oh, dessert oh. bars. They're made with real coffee. Smooth um, tasting cold brew coffee in a latte dessert bar. So when you're sweating in the morning. And you need caffeine. There you go. Or your three o'clock snack. My three o'clock coffee. I coffee could be your coffee snack combo. Mm. Stop. <laughs> That's so good. I think you we went there. Oh no, we did it. Oh, and then we have some of their like non-food products, I guess, mm -hmm. that we love. First is yeah. the soap. Um, I love the bottle. The design is beautiful, but I, I also do love the soap. It's a fresh linen scent antibacterial. I forgot to bring mine. I like the other ones too that you can see clear, but they're pretty. There's like a oh, lemon and a lavender. I know exactly which one. And I just bought the grapefruit and it Ooh. just, so I can't, my old, my youngest has like allergies. And so some of these soaps are just so strong and just to have like, it's like gentle enough that mm -hmm. like, did you wash your hands? Oh, they smell like grapefruit. Okay, good. You're around not like, you're allowed to have your snack now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing too. with this one and Trader Joe's, if you're watching, it drips a lot. So then you have to like clean the bottle a little bit because it gets sticky. But other than that, it's a great soap. I love the design. Um, another favorite of mine is their body butter. So I got turned on to this. They had it, at, of course, at the cash register when you're waiting to check out. Yeah, you're you always go. like Sucker. looking at things. That's me. <laughs> Those impulse buys. So they had one and it was pumpkin. Oh, and I was like, it was a pumpkin spice. And I'm like, all right, I'll try it. And the woman behind the register was like, oh, it's so great. I buy them by like the box because they, they're seasonal. They're different um, scents and stuff. So I bought it. I fell in love with it. My younger one fell in love with it. It's not there anymore. It'll probably come up this season. And yeah. I probably will buy it. They usually have it so pumpkin good. soon here. Yeah. So I got the coconut body butter, which smells delicious. Also, it's kind of like, it kind of smells like sunscreen but it's like sweet Ooh. but it's perfect it's not too oily or whatever so before i go to bed i smell like a coconut or they just came out with the cucumber avocado body butter Ooh. which smells delicious also right oh my gosh i, I love that so i like slather this on cucumber and avocado it smells like clean though it's not like a perfumey mm. scent that's you know? a it thing doesn't smell yeah. like fake i guess yeah although that's it does have cool. some big words in there but um <laughs> It has shea butter though, avocado oil, cucumber extract, and jojoba for deep hydration. I and love this stuff. You used to buy it the other day. Yeah, I need to go back and buy it. I forgot that they had it. It's their multi-purpose cleaner. It's, it's inexpensive. It works so well. I actually learned about this from my sister's house also. You could put it on everything. It's a multi-purpose. Yeah, it's not harsh. It's ready to use. Any washable surface. Awesome. as we go into blue season yes um tracy said she loves the blue tortilla chips oh the blue corn ones yeah. those are really good to try those okay and then yana said that there are 10 to 12 new products monthly 
So I guess I know they have that little flyer that they mail out. Yeah. You gotta get on their mailing list, I guess. Oh, I have one in my fridge. Hold on. Hold on. I got the flyer when I went last time. Yeah. There she goes. Cauliflower tabbouleh. Oh, it is, is so it good. Good. We'll have to have this with lunch. Okay. Um, it's a grain-free twist on the traditional salad. It is actually really good. Okay. This is so good. Oh my gosh, and then one other thing. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. <laughs> We're like a Trader Joe's house here. Oh, oh the spring, uh, the, I, I can't believe I got it. I have it. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, this is the best stuff ever, 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 ever. What is it? Wait, what do you have? Everything but the bagel sesame, yeah. This is amazing. So we found out about this from my sister also. I feel like you fed us all of our uh, Trader Joe's things. Thank you for playing but, our show today. <laughs> She's but, watching in the wings, people. So my actually, my parents learned about it from my sister, and my parents have a tendency when they find something they like, they buy it for me also, so that I could try it out. Aww. And this is absolutely delicious. Amazing. You could make um, one of my clients. One of his dishes is everything but the bagel seasoned chicken. Yes. My girlfriend just told me to put that on there. I don't know why I didn't think about it. I know. You know what I love it on? What? Avocado toast. It's amazing. Oh, so I make toast. Full, yes. Oh my gosh. It's so so it's like instead you have like a nice multi grain piece of toast and you're not having the big fat bagel. Right. You know, oh, that's all. Cool. I never use this on it. Yeah. Or if the bagel place is out of everything bagels, you could just get a plain one and just wet it on it. Yeah. yeah. Wet it and put it in. <laughs> And last but not least, and then I'm gonna stop with the cheesiness here, is they have a great wine section. Oh my gosh. Um, it's ridiculous. And the price you found today. Or oh yeah, yeah. so uh, rosé all day. We're all about that around here. Thank you. And is it Whispering Angel? Mm -hmm. That's like probably one of the top, you know, rosé wines. It's usually about twenty one ninety nine or twenty one ninety five. And I saw it at Trader's yesterday for seventeen. It's like stop so. it. Yeah. So they have so many wines. Oh my gosh. And what's so crazy is I don't know if you remember this. So when we first kind of met, mm -hmm. we were on that Norwegian cruise thing together. Yeah. And had Mandavi. Mandavi. Yeah. We had lunch with was Robert, Michael. Michael Mandavi. He was opening up a new wine bar on the ship. Yeah. And he was talking about Trader Joe wines. I don't know. And did, I don't know if you heard him talking and was saying that if you find so Trader Joe's has its own actual wine brand. And um he said, if you like it, buy, try to buy that whole lot or a bunch of them then because each wine is not the same. Like it won't taste the same. Right. Like the grapes will change. So even if it says Trader Joe's like Merlot, it's not going to be the same wine. Trader Joe's every So if you right. get a bottle, like you're there and you get a bottle and you're like, that's good. Go back the next day and buy like six more bottles of that lot. Cause it, we don't judge. I'll just drink whatever. But. <laughs> No, but we love, so they have the two buck chalk, which is technically two ninety nines with like three buck chalk, which is a great wine Yeah, that we use for cooking. We use it mainly for cooking, but we also drink it too. But we, it's great. We, the reds, the whites and everything. Then they have the Shaw, which is organic. Shaw, 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 Shaw. Rosé with using organic grapes, and I think this line, if I'm not mistaken, is all organic wine. Oh, this, cool. this label, it has a twist off cork, which I think is so cute, so oh. cute because it's the cork, but it also twists off, so you're not like having to go to the gym in order to open it. There you go. You might have to do that too. But so this is a great option. I also sometimes get my bubbly water there. They have. Um, bottles of um, carbonated water, kind of mm -hmm. like a seltzer, yeah. oh, with yeah. different flavors. I love that The one. pineapple. Stop. Pineapple's delicious. The presses. Um, they have this water, is it pH balance water? Yeah. Whatever it is. I love that. I drink it and like think that something great is happening in my body. It I is. don't know if it really makes a difference. It but... does. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Emma says they're green salad dressing. <gasps> Green got, yes, it's so good. We got the thumbs up. We got thumbs up from the sis. The crunchiferous salad. Oh my gosh. It is so good. Do I have it. Free bag salads. Hold on, please. What else was there? Oh, I just bought their Greek salad dressing. Amazing for a Greek salad. So if you don't have feta, you don't need it. It's like a little creamy, but it was good. Oh, I love these. This is the crucif Cruciferous Crunch Collection. Kale, Brussels, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. 
this is awesome. You could put any dressing or no dressing. It is so good. And it just gives that texture to your salad salad that you normally wouldn't have. But they don't, they have a couple of the pre-made ones. Yeah, they do. Where they have the dressing and the crunchies. I love those because crazy nights where I'm like, I feel like I need some greens. I'll, well, and if the kids eat before us, I'll take one of these chicken breasts that I was talking about earlier, throw that in the oven or the grill, and slice it up and put it on one of those pre-made salads for my husband and I. So super super smart. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. I love those. Oh, they also have Persian cucumbers. So these super cute little cucumbers. They're seedless. They're super crunchy. Um, you can eat them just like a pickle. Or you can have them with radish dressing. Um, these are great snacks. Or you can They're slice good. them up and put them in your salad. Those are yummy. Sometimes I put them in water. I'm so hungry. I know, it is lunchtime. I know. It's 12, oh, it's 12.30. Oh, okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you guys had a chance to get all this down. Maybe we'll take pictures and post them on yeah. SoFloMoms.com. We're gonna make a list of all this stuff. Weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try. It's been a crazy week back to school, but yeah. hopefully you watch the video, you'll find out, you know, we can make Always a quick good. list, actually, like a text list, and I, I'll make a PDF for you guys. We'll make a PDF. PDF. We have some other things I know that people, we both have posts that we've written about traders that we so just we'll need to update. To now channel. I found all these other extra products that I, I love. I know. So we will link to that, so stay tuned. You can always go to um, sofomoms.com. Do you know what it means when they ring the bells? I always wanted to know that at the register. Do you know what I feel means? like they need help. Oh. <laughs> Because they have the bells at Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> oh. so I'm at my own. own. I'm one of those people, like, I want to get in, get out. I just always look like a fool trying to do the double bag. It's always hilarious to watch me, like, fight the bag. And the guy's already done, like, five bags, and I'm still like, trying I'm to be cool in double bag. But yeah. I love traders. But, all right, guys. I think we've. Um, oh, and if you're in Boca, go look at the mural above the wine section. It's my husband. We swear it is. The That's back of so him hitting a golf funny. club. I know, he's going to kill me. I made fun of him the other day. We were in there. And I go, look at the mural. And they were like, what? And I said, honey, turn around. And they were like, That's you? And he was like, why are you doing this to me? So <laughs> I said to torture him. I'm like, because you never go food shopping with me. So I had to have some fun. Anyway, I know. All right, guys. So what else? We, oh, my gosh. So oh, this next Saturday. I mean, next Wednesday. We're Friday. live syncing. Oh, oh, sorry. But it's probably, yes, we are. August 29th, we will be a blue martini. Yes, so we are working, uh, helping promote the lip sync battle 2018 with Nat King Cole Generation of Hope. Yep. And they provide <laughs> programs and things for kids and music, and it's such a good it's um, a great outreach program. Yeah. It's a great charity. It is. So we got asked, we were bartenders last month, and now we're lip sync battling this month. <laughs> So we're not going to tell you our song. Everybody wants to know our song. And I, I think know. we're going to shock you a little bit. But um, <laughs> tickets are $35. $35. Um, and all of the, the entire ticket proceeds go to the foundation. You yes. can order them online. And then we can, we'll leave a link on SoFloMoms.com for you to purchase tickets. Put SoFloMoms in the notes mm -hmm. so that they know. They split Dana and I up. I think just probably because of, well, they probably had to because of the program. So, oh, okay. you know, if you see Dana's name, just click, buy your tickets and just put SoFlo. Right. Whatever. And then we're trying to raise money too. We'd love to raise about a thousand or more as well. With yeah. That. So, I said, so we hope you'll come out and support us. I know. It's going to be a fun night. <laughs> I it's going to be cool. We just I'm practiced. Like a little bit. No, we're yeah. going to be cool. All right. It's fun. We just practiced. We did really well. We're a synergy. We're yes. Synergized. We laugh. Okay. What else? So stay tuned behind the scenes for our Instagram stories. We'll take pictures of all the products, probably eating half of them or putting some in the freezer before yeah. they melt. Mm -hmm. um, and don't forget to share with your friends. Sharing is caring. Yeah. Share with your friends. You can find us on, we're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And we have a website that probably nobody knows about. We're SoFloMoms.com where we post every past episode. So if you've missed it, which we have tons of people say, oh my gosh, they DM, DM us and say, where were you? We missed you. Sorry, we'll watch the replay. So that's always fun. And then where are we on Friday? So we've got, we're doing this Friday. So we have Wednesday, we have Lip Sync. And then we have a show on Friday. Friday, we are going cool. to be at Forever Young. That's Boca. what I'm more nervous about. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, it's going to be good. We're getting some, is that what we're doing? Yeah, we? but not on set, not on, I, I think we'll, we'll do it after. So I don't know. Talk to, but we're going to be talking to 
um, the gentleman that own Forever Wellness. Yes. It is a med spa in Boca, and they focus on health and well-being. Um, they believe in preventative um, care for your body, whether it's your face, your skin, um, hormones, Everything. dieting, nutrition, all of that stuff. So we're going to be talking to them about what a med spa is, answering your questions live. Yeah. We're going to be doing um, what? Like a four part series? It's a four part them? series with them. So. Yeah. So we're going to be going through some of our own preventative measures. Yeah. And uh, we might be getting some stuff, some stuff done next week. <laughs> so it's going to be great though. So I'm excited about that. All right, that is it, people. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope we see you Wednesday night if you're local. Yeah, please come um, out and support us. We'd love to see you and uh, hang out and have an adult beverage. Yes. And um, and leave your comments below on any uh, phase that you have to share so that other moms can find out. Perfect. We might have missed something, so. I don't know. I think we have half of the store on the counter, right? <laughs> All right. Bye. Have a great weekend.